Hello everyone, you are watching Sahib Academy. If you like our videos, then please subscribe to our channel and also hit the bell icon for the regular updates and also follow us on Instagram, Sahib Academy. Now let's go to the video. Hi everyone, in this video we are going to see this another method of inventory valuation that is simple average price method. Now in the previous videos we have seen FIFO method, LIFO method and we have solved problem on those two right. Now in this video we are going to do the same first let's understand what is simple average price method. See here it's very simple simple average price method yeah the name says itself. See here what will be happening is how the materials will be valued you have to understand that. See here this is the warehouse right. So now from the warehouse the materials will be issued to the production department yes so now how those materials will be issued at what prices in FIFO and LIFO we saw there used to be sequence right in FIFO first in first out what we used to do we used to take the prices of let's say 1st January whatever we have of 1st January then 2nd January then 3rd January yes that is the sequence we used to follow the chronology and in the LIFO it used to be exactly opposite we used to start with the which prices the last prices 11 then 8 then 10 like that whatever we have in our warehouse yes we used to follow sequence in FIFO and LIFO yes a particular order but here in the simple average price method there is no order everything is in combination so what are you going to do is you are going to take the quantities and you are going to issue them at average prices that's all you are going to calculate average of these prices for example let's say in your warehouse you have let's say you know 40 quantity 20 quantity 50 quantity yeah you receive this on various days January 1 January 2 January 3 yeah, at different different prices are there 10 8 11 fine so now let's say the production department is in need of 80 quantity so how are you going to issue the materials at what prices yeah how are you going to value these materials it's very simple see here what are you going to do is you are going to think this is the whole combination yeah how much is it 40 quantity 20 quantity 50 quantity yes so 40 plus 20 is what 60 60 plus 50 110 so you are going to think you have 110 quantity and then you are going to issue 80 quantity and the price which you are going to take is the average price in this combination this is what this is a combination isn't it in this combination how many lots are there first lot second lot third lot three lots are there right so you are going to take average of these three lots prices 10 rupees 8 rupees 11 rupees so see here it's very simple 10 plus 8 plus 11 divide by the number of prices three prices yes 10 plus 8 plus 11 so that's equal to 9.67 simple as that you are just going to take an average see here what you're going to do 10 plus 8 plus 11 that's equal to 29 29 divided by 3 that is equal to 9.67 understood so that is how you are going to do this yeah you are just going to calculate the average price and at this average price you are going to issue the materials and you're going to value the materials simple so this is what you do in simple average price method under this method materials issued are valued at average price all the different prices that are there in combination yes this is the combination in these how many lots are there three lots so three prices add them up together and divide them by the number of prices okay add it together and then divide it by the number of prices simple as that okay it's not like five four life oh here we have the whole combination and just take an average of the prices that are there in the combination that's all you do here right it's very simple now let's solve the problem you will understand this better okay it's very simple just take an average all right so now let's go to the problem now here we have the problem see here from the following information prepared stores ledger account under simple average price method now the first transaction that we have is that is on 2nd January purchased 4000 units at price 4 yes at the rupees 4 so simple you have purchased the materials so you'll be receiving them at your warehouse you have to take that in your receipt column right so on 2nd January you have purchased 4000 quantity at the price 4 so if you multiply those two together you get 16,000 simple yeah then you have to copy that down in the balance column in the balance column what you're trying to say we have 4000 quantity of 16,000 cost yes that is why balance column is there to show what we have in our warehouse fine then move on to the next transaction on 20th january we have purchased 500 units at price 5 now we are making another purchase now whenever we used to do purchase in fifo and lifo what we used to do we used to draw a line whatever we have in balance column we used to copy that down and then what we have purchased just now we used to take that below yes now here in simple average price method we are not going to do that we are not going to do that okay here we are going to combine the lots yeah combine the lots together see it's very simple 
So what is happening over here is we have purchased 500 quantity yes, at the price 5. So simple, take it in receipt column. 500 quantity we have purchased at the price 5. So 500 into 5 that is equal to 2500. Yes, now you are just going to combine this with whatever you had in the balance column. Now what you had in the balance column, you have 4000 quantity, cost was 16,000. Now you have purchased this, so just combine them together. 4000 plus 500 that is equal to 4500 16000 cost plus the new cost 2500 which you have just incurred yeah add those two together then you get 18500 simple 4000 yeah plus 5 plus 500 the new quantity then you get 4500 yeah and then here 16000 the cost the old cost yeah whatever we had plus the new cost we just incurred plus 2500 that is equal to 18500 simple as that so now what do we have in warehouse now after making this purchase we have 4500 quantity of the cost 18500 simple now here in the balance column we will not take any prices we will not take any prices why because we will be making issues at different different average prices we are not going to use the prices which we have in the balance column so that is why the prices in the balance column is irrelevant okay fine so now see here the second transaction what we have the third transaction see here february 5 on february 5 we have issued 2000 units how much 2000 units so now what are you going to do is see here you have 4500 quantity so you are going to make an issue of 2000 quantity at an average price so to calculate average price how do you do that see you have to calculate average price from the combination in this combination yeah how many lots are there in this 4500 combination there are two lots yes 4000 lot and 500 lot so two lots are there so two prices are there four and five so add them together four plus five yes four plus five that is equal to nine nine divided by two two prices right yeah number of prices then you get answer as 4.5 so 4.5 is your average price yes so at that price you are going to issue these 2000 quantity okay so 2000 into 4.5 that is equal to 9000 okay 9000 simple now issues is what issues means subtract yeah you are throwing it out of your warehouse so what you have to do is you have to deduct that okay so see here how are you going to take this balance column at the side simple you had 4500 quantity you have sent out you have issued 2000 so the remaining whatever left is 2500 4500 was there minus 2000 which you have sent out then the remaining is 2500 and same with the cost yeah you had materials costing 18500 yeah and then you send out materials costing 9000 so subtract that then you will get 9500 as your you know the remaining cost 9500 simple just subtract if you're getting receipt you have to add and combine if you're having issues then you have to subtract and remove that okay so this is what we have now 2500 quantity and the cost of it is 9500 simple and then what happens see here on february 10 on february 10 what is happening we are purchasing 6000 units at price 6 okay so another purchase now not like FIFO in life okay not drawing a line and all no so what we do on february 10 see here on 10th february we have purchased 6000 units at the price 6 it is given yeah 6000 into 6 that is equal to 36000 yeah 36000 and then what you're going to do you are going to combine it with what you have in the warehouse you have 2500 quantity of cost 9500 so just combine it with this so 2500 plus 6000 2500 you had plus 6000 which you just purchased so your new quantity in your warehouse is 8500 and then the cost you had 9500 cost in your warehouse yes now you have purchased you have incurred 36000 cost so add that 36000 and you get 45500 as your new cost 45500 simple so now what do you have in your warehouse 8500 quantity of 45500 cost simple then then what happens see here on february 12th issued 4000 units we have to issue 4000 units so whenever you have to issue what do you do you issue them at average price so you have to calculate average price and it's very simple to calculate right add all the prices 
yes and divide them by the number of prices but what prices you have to take that is very important see here now in this lot in this combination 8500 combination how many lots are there you have to understand that yeah in this 8500 combination how many lots are there there is 4000 lot 500 lot 6000 lot three lots are there so three different prices four five six so add up all together four plus five plus six yeah and then that's equal to 15 yeah divided by number of prices that is three so if you divide that you get answer as five so now the issue which you have to make that's four thousand that would be at the price five the average price how did i calculate that four plus five plus six divide by three yeah i got it as five yeah so four thousand into five yeah at this price you are going to make an issue 4000 into 5 that is equal to 20000 simple so now this is an issue it's subtract right so you just have to deduct that to calculate the balance 8500 quantity you had yes 4000 is going out so 8500 minus 4000 that is equal to 4500 now you have and then cost also just subtract 45500 you had yes minus you sent out 20000 cost minus 20000 then now you have 25,500, 25,500, simple. And then what happened? See here, and then you're making another issue. If you see here, on March 2nd, you have issued 1,000 units. How much? 1,000 units, right? So now whenever you are making an issue, always you have to calculate average price. At average price only, you are going to make an issue, right? So you have to be very careful what is there in the combination. Now, this is what we have, right, this combination. 4,500 quantity we have, of course, 25,500. This is the combination. But now you should be very careful and you should know in that combination, how many lots are there, okay? So in this combination, 4,500, how many lots are there? Can you say there are three lots? No, there are no three lots. There are only one lot. How did I come to know that? See here, how much quantity did we have? 4,500, 6,000, yes. And we have made issue of 2,000 and 4,000. Yes, 2,000 and 4,000. So these two lots are completely exhausted. They're completely finished. Okay, these lots are no more in this combination of 4,500. Yeah, they are no more. So in this combination, it's not a combination at all actually. This combination, only this lot is there, 6,000 lot. You know, so that is why to calculate the average price, it's very simple, six divided by what? One. Why 6 divided by 1? Because there is only one price in that combination. There are no three prices. There are only one lot, one price. Yeah, so 6 divided by 1. Yeah, all the prices divided by number of prices. So 6 only. Yeah, so that is why this 1000 quantity will be issued at price 6. You have to be very careful. Whenever you are making an issue, you have to know in the combination what lots are there and how will you calculate the average prices in this 4500 lot there is no 4500 lots okay in this combination there is only 6000 lot there because we have made an issue of 2000 yeah and 4000 so these are already finished yeah these are already finished and here also we have used some what yeah so this 4500 whatever we have now is entirely from this lot 6000 lot you're getting my point you will get it it's very simple yeah so that's why the average price calculation would be what all the prices in the combination in this combination we have only one price six divided by one that is six only simple yeah you will get it it's very simple right so 1000 into six yeah that's the average price 1000 into six that is equal to 6000 right then you're making an issue right so you have to deduct so 4500 quantity you had minus 1000 that is equal to 3500 and then from 25500 the cost which you had now deduct the cost which you have sent out that is 6000 so 25500 minus 6000 that is equal to 19500 yes this is the balance now understood yeah and then what happened see here on march 5th we are making another issue of 2000 units how much 2000 units now still you have to make sure see here we are making issue of 2000 units and now in the warehouse we have 3500 so you have to see in this combination what all lots are there in this combination only this lot is there yes this these two are exhausted right only this lot is there so six divided by one is six only yeah all prices divided by number of prices so one six only yeah so 2000 will be issued at the price six so 2000 
into 6 that is equal to 12,000 yeah 12,000 so this is issue you have to deduct that 3,500 quantity we had now we have issued we have sent out 2,000 so the remaining is 1,500 3,500 minus 2,000 that is equal to 1,500 we have now yeah and then we had cost 19,500 we have sent out 12,000 minus 12,000 you get 7,500 as the remaining cost yeah 7500 simple and then what happened and then see here on march 15 we have made another purchase of 4500 units at the price 5.50 okay we are receiving the materials take it in the receipt column 4500 quantity at the price 5.50 so if you put that in calculator 4500 into 5.5 yeah 5.50 that is equal to 24750 24750 right 24750 what do you do with the receipt just combine it with what you have in the balance column you have 1500 quantity of the cost 7500 just combine those two together 1500 you had and now you have purchased 4500 quantity 1500 plus 4500 that is equal to 6000 so 6000 will be our new quantity and then the new cost would be what added up 7500 we had plus what we have just incurred the cost new cost 24750 that is equal to 32250 yeah 32250 simple and then what happens see here and then on march 20 we are making another issue of 3000 units we are sending out 3000 units now whenever there is an issue you have to make sure in the combination whatever you have in the balance column in your warehouse how many lots are there depending on that you have to calculate average price yes 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 so see here in this 6000 now we have two lots one is this one 6000 see here what is happening over here we have not completely exhausted this lot have we no see here 2000 we have sent out 4000 we have sent out so 6000 total we have sent out till here right so 4000 gone 500 gone and then somewhat of 6000 gone right and then we have sent out what 1000 2000 yeah so 3000 more still there is left in this lot right so in this combination 6000 here there is what there is some quantities of this lot and 4500 from this lot yeah so there are two lots in this 6000 combination so now what are you going to do to calculate the average price you are going to take two prices because in this combination there are two lots two prices take an average simple you get it right so 3000 quantity we have to send it out we have to issue at the average price so calculate average price average price would be of these two lots 6 and 5.50 the so 6 plus 5.50 yeah that is equal to 11.5 11.5 is what the sum of those two prices so divide by 2 that is equal to 5.75 this is the average price at this price we are going to make the issue understood so 3000 quantity we have to send out at the average price 5.75 we just calculated right and how did we do that go to the combination what all lots we have in this combination yeah take only those prices now what the students they do is they take all the prices no you don't do that that's illogical you have to use your common sense yeah what all quantity you have right now in the combination what all lots only those prices you are going to take average from okay not all the prices be very careful about that okay so see here it's very simple 3000 into 5.75 yeah 5.75 so that's 17250 now this is an issue you have to subtract you have to deduct yeah so you had 6000 quantity you have issued 3000 then you have left how much 3000 simple and then 32,250 was your old cost 32,250 and then you have send out 17,250 cost so subtract that 17,250 then your remaining cost is 15,000 simple yes so this is your closing stock valued at simple average price 15,000 is your closing stock right simple so this is how you have to go about it simple average price okay it's not like FIFO and LIFO whatever you purchase you combine them together okay and then whenever you have to make an issue what you have to do you have to be very careful about the combination what all lots in this combination there were two lots so two prices four and five so what we did four plus five yes divide by two that is equal to 4.5 so at 4.5 we made the what issue understood so that is how you have to do whatever you have 
combination whatever balance in that you have to make sure how many lots then how many prices yeah and then take an average and make an issue simple right so this is how you have to go about the simple average price method it's not tough you just have to practice two three problems and you will get it it's very simple fine okay then